rain. Rain go away. Boy, where does all this rain come from? From the sky, everybody knows that. But what Pete really wants to know is, how does the water get into the sky? When the sun comes out strongly after a shower, we can almost see the water disappearing into the air. Here, heat from the sun is drying the roof. Water at the top edge of the puddle slowly disappears into the air right before our eyes. Billions of gallons of water go into the air every hour from the ponds, lakes, rivers, and oceans all over the world. In fact, everything that dries is giving water to the air. Even wet fields do this. Yep, there's another way water can get into the air. The water on the doghouse roof dried pretty fast in the warm sun. This water disappears faster because the stove is hotter. This change from water we can see to water vapor we can't see is called evaporation. The cloud from the spout of the tea kettle is condensation of the water vapor from the tea kettle hitting the colder air. The hot water in the kettle gives off water vapor to the air by rapid evaporation just as rivers, lakes, and ponds give off water vapor to the air by slow evaporation. As the hot water-filled air hits the colder air near the ice tray, the water vapor turns into clouds of tiny water droplets floating in the air. Condensation. When the air is quite cold and cannot hold any more water droplets, they collect together to form larger drops as on the ice tray. And being too heavy to float in the air, they fall back to the earth as rain. Without water in the air, we couldn't live. Our fields would be dry and nothing would grow. water in the kettle gives off water vapor to the air by rapid evaporation, just as rivers, lakes, and ponds give off water vapor to the air by slow evaporation. The hot water in the kettle gives off water vapor to the air by rapid evaporation, just as rivers, lakes, and ponds give off water vapor to the air by slow evaporation. 